Hello, I am Dr. Nayan and you are watching Biodesk. In this session, we are going to discuss a new chapter that is heredity and variation. So let us begin. All living organisms possess the most characteristic feature of reproduction during which they produce the offspring of their own kinds. However, during this process some characters are transferred as such while some others are transferred with differences. The transfer of characters from one generation to another generation or from parents to offspring is called heredity. The slight differences found among the members of same species may be termed as variation. Variations are more prominent in sexually reproducing organisms. The branch of biology dealing with the study of heredity and variation is called genetics. The foundation of genetics was led in 1865 AD by Gregor Johann Mendel. Due to contribution in genetics, he is now regarded as the father of genetics. He gave his basic laws of genetics with the help of his several experiments on garden pea plants. He gave principles for inheritance of genetic characters which are called Mendel's laws of heredity or Mendelism. Pea plants are commonly found in our locality also. These are annual plants and of economic importance. In pea plants, self-fertilization and cross-fertilization both can be performed. However, it is a naturally self-pollinating plant because flowers are bisexual. You must remember the common garden pea plant, scientifically called Pisum sativum. Mendel selected garden pea plants for his experiments because pea plants are found in a large number of varieties. They have high fertility and are of short lifespan. Pea plant is naturally self-pollinated and can be cross-pollinated when needed. The cross products are also fertile. Mendel worked with seven characteristics of pea plants like plant height, pod shape and color, seed shape and color, and flower position and flower color. In this chart, we see the seed, flower, pod, stem in pea plants. The surface or the structure of the surface may vary. The seed form may be round, may be wrinkled. Similarly, the cotyledon of the seed may be yellow or green in color. Flowers vary in their color. The flowers may be white, may be violet. Similarly, the nature of the pod may be full or constricted, means inflated or constricted, both the varieties are found. The color of the pod may be green or yellow. The position of the flower and the pod may be axial or terminal. The size of the plant may be tall, may be short. Now let us see Mendel's experiment. Mendel performed several experiments on pea plants. One of the most simple experiment is called monohybrid cross. It is a cross in which the inheritance of only one pair of contrasting characters is studied. The ratio obtained in F2 generation is called monohybrid ratio. Remember, F2 generation means second filial generation. Mendel crossed a pure tall pea plant with a pure dwarf pea plant. The plants appeared in F1 generation were all tall. Several crosses were carried out, but the results were same. The plants of first filial generation were left to self-pollinate. The seeds collected and planted to produce the F2 generation. In second filial generation, both tall and dwarf plants were produced 
in the ratio of 3 is to 1. That means 75% tall and 25% dwarf. The dwarf character, which was absent in first filial generation, reappeared in the second filial generation. Mendel explained his experiment by assuming that the factors are there which control particular character of the body. For every character, the factors are present in the body. Mendel assumed that the capital T as the factor for tallness and small t as the factor for shortness. He told that these factors are always found in pairs. Out of these two factors, one comes from male parent and another comes from female parent. So here, Mendel assumed capital T and capital T for tallness and small t and small t for shortness. He called them pure varieties. In fact, for any experiment, pure raw materials are required. So he selected one pure tall plant and another pure short plant. This was termed as first parental generation or P generation. In fact, during meiosis cell division, homologous chromosomes are separated. So, capital T and capital T separated in tall individual. Similarly, in short individual, small t and small t separated. And during fertilization, if capital T unites with small t of short individual, then capital T and small t will come together. So, if another one unites with small t, then again the similar combination is seen. This was termed as first filial generation. And in first filial generation, all the hybrids appeared tall. This is in short called F1 generation. The plants of F1 generation were left for self-pollination. This time again, gametes were formed and during gamete formation, the two factors were separated, capital T, small t separated. Similarly, on another side, the capital T, small t separated. When the gametes of first filial generation unite, four different types of combinations may be produced. Capital T may combine with capital T of other side, forming capital T, capital T together and this will result into a pure tall plant. Capital T may combine with a small t and this will result in the development of impure tall plant. Similarly, when a small t combines with capital T of other side, then this time again capital T, a small t together, so it will result into an impure plant. When small t and a small t combine, then this will result into a pure short plant. Thus, in second filial generation, the individuals may be pure tall, impure tall, or pure short. So, all together, three tall and one short. This physical appearance of the plants is called phenotype, and the ratio of phenotype members 3 is to 1. But when we see their purity and impurity, then this is called xenotype. And according to xenotype condition, we find one pure tall, two impure tall, and one pure short. So the ratio becomes here, one is to two is to one. Thus, Mendel explained the monohybrid cross on the basis of factors, which are now called genes. That was all about the monohybrid cross. In our next session, we shall discuss the dihybrid cross performed by Mendel. Hope this video was helpful. 
do like and share this video and subscribe to our channel see you in the next one thank you